you know, it's interesting. I study um, organizational decision making and sort of strategy by 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 managers, and you know, often actually the the sort of research in the area really focuses on the sort of senior levels, like CEOs and large companies and things like that. And you know, the reality is is that day to day life is actually extremely mundane. And doesn't require a lot of decision making like we think of it, right? So it requires a sort of repetitive getting up and doing the same thing, not really ever making a single decision. Sometimes you actually do, but most of it is extremely mundane where it's the same thing over and over and over again. And I can't remember, it's not very often where you actually have to make a big decision. So right now we've got a, so it's it's September in 2022 uh, in the state of Florida and we have a hurricane coming in, the hurricane, hurricane Ian. And it's coming in and yeah, we have to make a decision about whether we stay or go. But, you know, uh, most of the time we don't have to make a lot of decisions like that. It is just the same thing every day where you get up and you keep doing it. And then even regardless if you make that one particular decision, which is a, a small snapshot about what's going on, there is, you know, for the most part, even though that, that you made that particular decision, you still have to do the nitty gritty uh, throughout the day, right? Like, so even the fact that um, we, you know, if we do move, to a different location, go to a hotel, um, which I think we're not going to at this point. But if we do, um, I still have to do, you know, some work at that particular location and do the same thing that I would do every other day. Um, but it's just at a different location. I think we need to sort of put this into perspective that much of what we do is not decision making. Much of what we do is just the same thing, repetition, routine, um, you know, getting up and sort of going through a script, all of those things. And, and if you sort of take a step back and look at it, that's pretty much all of life is the sort of repetition. And it and it's the repetition that benefits you, right? Or, you know, the lack of repetition of something um, is a sort of decision to not do good at a particular thing. I strongly believe that, that, you know, anybody is capable at something um, and they just simply have to repeat it and they'll they'll get quite good at it. And maybe they're not going to be absolute world class and, you know, rival what everybody else is doing, but they can get pretty damn good, right? Um, and, and be in the top, you know, quartile of performance in a particular area, if not, um, you know, the top by simply just repeating the same thing. But it's that choice to repeat and to do that repetition that is challenging. And by choosing not to do something and going in a different direction is the choice of um, not repeating, right? That's often what it is, is for repetition in a certain domain that leads to a lot of benefit in that particular domain. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be good at it every day, um, but it means that, hey, you're acknowledging that you are making a choice to do that particular thing. So in a roundabout way, the fact that you get up and you repeat the same thing is a choice, but it often doesn't feel like that. Um, because, you know, there's so many other things that are going in. The reason why I go into work, for example, is because I need to get paid um, in all sorts of, you know, and the reason why I need to get paid is because, you know, I've got family members that are depending on me in, in a number of different ways. And so I make that choice to do that, right? Um, so if we take a step back and think about how to actually do something and do well at it, at it it's not a lot of decision making. I don't believe that. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm, you know, dead sane against it at this moment. The sort of decision, you know, this, this we make this big decision and, and, and that's the end of it. Right, but it's these sort of little tiny, maybe micro decisions or not even decisions where you just choose to do something, right? You choose to, um, uh, you know, have a conversation with somebody that you 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 maybe wouldn't want to do, for example, or 
you know, you work on some hard things that, um, that you don't want to do, but it's really mundane, boring stuff. And I think those little tiny things that are mundane, um, those are the things that actually matter to get you from one step to the next. And the more you do those, the more you get up and do those little tiny things, the better off that you're actually going to be. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.